Grant fans, uh, doing my next video. Uh, in the last one, you saw me uh, making up the framework for the um, top for the grandfather clock. Um, and this one, I'm, I was hoping to show you how I'm going to fill in the gaps around the uh, clock face itself. I think the angle of it is going to be really awkward to try and film, so I'll show you the idea behind it in a few different bits. Um, and it might have to skip part of that, so nothing I can do about that. Um, so, this is the top of the grandfather clock. Um, and what I like to do with the grandfather clocks, when I've made them before, I like to have something in, the, in here, in each corner, that matches. Um, so it's all symmetrical in the corners and then the mosaic of scrap in between all of that so what I'm thinking is using one of these and I think I might have done this on the first one that I did um, but I'm gonna have one of these like that in each corner and then in all these little gaps here that is all going to be filled in like I say with the mosaic scrap um, so I'm going to use those. I've already cleaned up uh, the other three, so I just need to clean this one up, um, get them welded in, and then um, we'll go from there. So there we have the four uh, sprockets all cleaned up, not too meticulously clean because at the end of the day it is a scrap metal sculpture, it's not meant to look like it's brand new metal on these parts. Um, now how this will look in there with it all cleaned up is like that, but to me that still doesn't look quite right so I'm going to do something in the center here. What I'm thinking is using a uh, coach bottle, or carriage bottle, I can't remember what it's called. Um, and I'll put that in the middle there with a washer and that'll fill that out and add another little uh, bit of detail to it. So we'll get the carriage bolt that I was saying about, that through there. Put this one into here. Another washer on the back. And then a nut on the back of that. Yeah, that looks better, doesn't it? So, it's the right way around. The before and after on that. Right, so that is what that now looks like. And we'll put this in here, and you can see the difference. Now I think that looks a million times better than it did. We'll do that to all four, get them welded in, and then we'll see what that looks like. Good. 
Right, now it's a case of filling in these gaps with the mosaic scrap. Yeah, that's that part all finished. Just need to, to cut a hole in the, the back piece and weld the back on. Well, that's the top all welded up, um, all the way around, all the seams on it. Um, what I'll do now is pop it onto the top of the grandfather clock, um, and we'll have a quick look, see how it, see how it looks on there, as it is. Um, and then I've run out of flap discs for the angle grinder, um, so I'm gonna have to pop into town, grab a pack of flap discs, and then I can come back and grind all those welds back um, to take it back to a nice sort of right angle, similar sort of, Similar sort of thing to that. I actually quite like it with the welds like that, but I know not everyone would, so. And they're not the neatest welds in the world. Oh, that one's all right. Not particularly neat, but they don't need to be neat as long as they're strong. It's all getting ground back anyway. Um, hopefully I can stand back far enough to see the whole thing. Coming together now, looking pretty cool.